alaikum, dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to another episode of Quran Weekly. So, the verses that I'd like to share with you this week are from Surah Al Insan, verses 8 and 9, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bismillah ar Rahman ar Rahim, wa yut'imun al ta'am ala hubbihi miskeena wa yatima wa asira, innama nut'imukum li wajhillahi la nuridu minkum jaza'an wa la shukura. And they give food out of his love to the poor, the orphan, and the captive. We feed you only for the face of Allah. We do not desire any recompense or thanks from you. These verses are from Surah Al-Insan. And when you look at the books of Tafsir, you see that the entire Surah was actually revealed because of a certain incident that took place during the lifetime of the Prophet, specifically in Medina. And we'll explain why we know for certain that these verses were revealed in Medina. It is narrated that Hassan and Hussein, the sons of Ali and Fatima, the grandsons of the Prophet, they fell ill. They were severely ill. So much so that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib and Fatima al Zahra, they made a nadr, they made a vow that if their sons, if Hassan and Hussein recover from their illness, that they will fast for three days as an expression of gratitude for their shifa. Hassan and Hussein alayhim was salam, they, uh, they get better, they get well. And the entire family decides to fast for three days. Food was very scarce at the time. Narrations say that Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, actually borrowed some barley for the iftar. He brings it home. Fatima to Zahra takes a third of the barley. She grinds it to make bread for iftar. So Hassan and Hussein. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, Fatima, Fatima al Zahra, they're all fasting. It's the time of iftar. Their iftar is nothing but bread, barley bread, and water. There's a knock on the door, right at the time of iftar. Who's at the door? A miskeen, someone who does not have enough sustenance for their day, a poor person. So, without any hesitation, the entire family gives their iftar, that barley bread, as charity. And they break their fast with only water. Imagine, brothers and sisters, imagine how hungry they must have been. Imagine how hungry you feel when you're fasting an entire day. They give it. The second day, because they made the nadr to fast for three days, the second day, Fatima to Zahra prepares the barley bread. At the time of iftar, an orphan knocks on the door. Now here, the family of the Prophet, they don't say that, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep some bread and we'll give some to the orphan. They give all of the barley bread to the orphan without any hesitation. The third day, so now they've, they've been fasting for three days and all they've had is water. On the third day, there's a knock on the door at the time of iftar. Who's at the door this time? A captive, an asir. This means that on the third day, the one who's asking for food is not even Muslim. It's a captive. And of course, this is an indication that these verses are revealed in Medina because the Muslims were persecuted in Mecca. They did not have any captives in Mecca. So, on the third day, you have someone who's not even Muslim asking for food. And the Ahlul Bayt السلام, they give all of the barley bread that they have. In the same way that they gave to the poor and the orphan in the previous days, they give it all purely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Three days, nothing but water. Why did they do this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains. You know, throughout history, people have given millions and billions of dollars in charity. But why is it that this act of charity is singled out and enshrined in the Qur'an? Allah explains, 
ويطعمون الطعام على حبه مسكينا ويتيما واسيرا what makes this act of charity unique is that this act of charity was given purely out of their love for Allah على حبه مسكينا ويتيما واسيرا انما نطعمكم لوجه الله we're only feeding you for the face of God, meaning we seek the attention, the special mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. We don't want any recompense from you. We don't even want you to thank us because we see that we are the ones who are doing you a favor. We, we, we feel that you are doing us a favor. You are giving us an opportunity to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they don't want, they do it purely for Allah. No desire for any recognition or even an expression of gratitude. This act of charity was so appreciated and so valued by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he reveals an entire surah in the Quran, Surah Al-Insan, praising this selfless act and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proceeds to speak about the delights of paradise which await the Ahlul Bayt alayhimus salam for their generosity.